Hey guys, we have the key fob for the Okai electric scooter and in this video we want to explain to you how to replace the battery inside of one of these key fobs. So it's really not that obvious on how to open this key fob up to get to the battery. And I'm just simply using here the uh, this nail file portion of my uh, pocket knife and then I'm going to take a look at the side which has the two buttons on it. So not the one where it says OK. We're going to work on the side that has the two buttons. And then we're going to kind of jam the uh, nail file right here in underneath where the key comes out. And we're not going to push in this uh, nail file in too deep. We're going to show you that in a second. And then we're just going to wiggle the nail file a little bit and then the cover here will pop off so and now you can already see why you don't want to jam the nail file in too deep because then you're going to eventually damage the pcb that's here right underneath so okay so now let's continue and we have here two small phillips screws that we have to remove now right here and there this portion is really easy so let's speed this up a little bit and then we just take off the entire PCB here by just prying on it at the top of the key. We can take this entire PCB off so there's nothing really holding onto it anymore. And now here on the bottom side that's where we see the battery. So right underneath this little uh, metal cage here. So when you see this battery is actually glued in. So uh, I don't know if the company really wanted us to replace this ever or if it was expecting people to replace this. Uh, maybe they just were thinking that the uh, scooter doesn't even last that long. So uh, we're going to remove some of this paste here that we see here on the top of the board. Let me zoom in here. You see all this goop here on this one side. So uh, where this opening is, that's where we want to remove all of this white goop. So we're just using a small flat blade screwdriver to do that. And then eventually we can push from the opposite side of the battery. So from this end here that you can see we're going to push the battery out really carefully. It will eventually come out. And then here we have the old empty battery. Let's take a look at the type. So we can see here we need a replacement battery of type CR1632. That's a 3 volt battery, coin cell battery. So I'm also going to put a link here in the comment section below or in the comments. And then once we have our new battery, we're going to uh, just slide in the new battery. We're going to make sure we slide it in the, the right orientation. So you want to make sure that when you slide it in, you can see the writing in the plus. As you can see this on the battery, just like this. So you're going to slide it in like that. And now once we slide it in, the battery is going to stay in place. It's not really coming out, so there's no need to reapply uh, any more extra glue or new glue. It will just going to stay in place. Of course, now we should do a little test if the new battery works and everything still functions. We're just going to press the two buttons here, and then we should see that small LED at the top lighting up. So now let's start to reassemble everything again. We're just going to line up the two holes on the PCB with these little holes on the uh, key fob. Also make sure you have it the right orientation. Of course the LED is supposed to be facing towards the key. And then let's reattach both of these small Phillips screws. And then we can already start to put the cover back on. That's super easy. Just take a look at the little cutout here that we have on the lid. We line that up with the key port part. And then all we have to do is press on the cover here and it should snap right back into place. Okay, so that was already it for this video. Hope you found the information helpful. And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.